Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Chances are you're a David Gilmour fan, which is probably why you're here today. I definitely am, and I've been trying to chase his tone for a while now. And I think it's not just the sound of the amps or the, the effects, but it's also the way he plays those those notes, the way he, he bends those strings, the way he accents each of the riffs. And it's all the on the pentatonic scale, so... I think he's got a really good uh, approach to the way he solos, which is really hard to replicate. So after a lot of tweaking, this is the closest I've been able to come to his tone. It's nowhere identical, it's not even, I would say 70% or 80%, but it's the best I could come up with. So I would love to share that with you and get your feedback, so please let me know in the comments what you thought of it greatly appreciated. I'm using my Carpirelli Strat. Uh, this has been recently set up so it plays beautifully and plays I would say slightly better than my Mexican Strats. So I'm going to attempt the second solo of Comfortably Numb and I'd learned this a few years back but didn't really pay attention to how David was bending the notes and phrasing them. So I've tried to relearn a few bits and pieces here and there and get slightly closer to his feel, not necessarily identical to the way he's played. I'm using a fractal, so it's a compressor going into an overdrive, into two high watt amps, feeding back into a single cab, which is a high power cab, feeding an analog chorus, a single delay, and then two reverbs. So have a listen and let me know what you think. What settings do you use for your David Gilmo tone? Share it in the comments below. If you like this content, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you on my next update. Bye now.